Hey everyone, so today I will be sharing my Louis Vuitton monogram collection. Monogram makes up the majority of my LV collection, so I'll just dive right in. Uh, maybe we'll do the smallest first. So this is the 16 millimeter monogram strap. Um, I'll post a link where I showed how to turn this into a belt. I also showed this in my last review video where I showed how to do a kind of a DIY of the multi pochette bag, the newest uh, multi pochette bag where you can use this and attach to your existing pieces if you have. Um, so this is just such a versatile piece. I've used this on some of my luggage pieces. Obviously it's carefree, it's coated canvas as opposed to the leather. So that's just an essential for me. I don't even know if this is still available. If it is, I'll, I'll try to link. I'll try to link everything that's available. I do have a lot of older pieces and some stuff that isn't made, but if I can find it, I'll try to link it for you guys. Okay, this is one of my first things that I bought. So along with my first bag, that I'll show you soon. This is the French wallet in the monogram. And <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. I don't, obviously I don't think they make this anymore, um, but it just was such a really like an elegant <laughs> little clasp here. Um, I use this all the time. This is great because it can keep bills also right here. Unfortunately with this item, it's, it's very bulky. So even though it's a small wallet, it's, you know, it's pretty bulky because of the metal oh. purse. I don't know what this is called, the, you know, this hinge, that the clasp makes it pretty bulky. So I haven't used this in a long time, but it's just so cute. This is the French wallet and I bought this, oh my gosh, I was in high school when I bought this. It was one of my first LV pieces that I got. So yikes, how long has it been? <sighs> 15 years? Yeah. Um, this is a, another essential. This is the pochette clay key pouch and this is in the monogram. I love this clasp because, you know, a lot of other um, brands, Chanel, for example, they have a key pouch, but their clasp is just a regular key ring, like a round circle key ring. And this is nice because it just it has a hinge. So, you know, you don't mess up your nails <laughs> when you're putting your keys on there. Okay, this isn't, I don't think this was available for purchase, but I just happened to come upon this. This was a jewelry case and, oh, Look, <laughs> I have a little Chanel, um, Chanel like brooch pin. It was like an enamel. It was part of their holiday gift wrap. But this is what the fine jewelry packaging used to be years ago. I don't know if it still is. And so I think this was like a ring case. So I just keep it. It's kind of like the same soft canvas and it has a, what is that? Microfiber, micro, Alcantara suede linings. This is the six key ring. This is actually fairly recent. I had the regular monogram in the plane and I, I just can't find it. So this is the um, kind of a newer purchase and it's the same six key ring holder, but in the fuchsia lining and has a fuchsia button. So I've read that this can get scratched. So some people put a clear coat of nail polish on there. I'm always hesitant to kind of modify my LV pieces or, or treat them permanently. They'll put like a clear nail polish, so I don't know. Have you guys done that? Does anyone have a piece like this that, get, that would get scratched? Let me know what you guys do. So this is a special edition. This was, I think the actual size is the PM Agenda, or not PM, Pocket Agenda? Mini Agenda? I gave this to my mom to use for a long time, but this was specially made. I'm gonna cover up my initials, because I had a hot stamped. This was a special edition piece made in 2004. They made a bunch of pieces for the 150th anniversary of Louis Vuitton. Um, and so this was just kind of a limited edition item. And I don't know if they still make it, but they have like a pocket agenda. And so it was a little tiny, like really tiny, obviously notebooks that you can keep in here. But so I never use that as, a, as an agenda. I use this as a card holder because it's the perfect size for to hold cards. Um, but I'm using another card holder for now, so I will keep that here. And it's, you can see it's a mini, it's the mini LV print because it's so small. Okay, this is the Pochette Florentine. And you can tell this is also pretty old. I got this, I think when I was in college. So about, oh my gosh, 10, 15 years ago. This is a belt uh, bag and the strap is a, I'll show you the inside, is this Vachetta strap here. So this kind of touches to the loops here and then you can literally loop this whole thing through your belt um, loops 
and where it is a belt bag. This is the Pochette Cosmetique Cosmetic Pouch in the PM size. And oh my gosh, I use this so much. This is also about 10, 15 years old. Um, it's so dirty. Um, this is made in the USA. It has a lining. You can tell I've used this a lot and the lining is really kind of starting to fray and disintegrate. But it's such a cute little piece and I, I might get the GM um, cosmetic pouch because it's just really versatile. I love the shape and it just like really fits so nicely in your hand. A lot of people use it as, a, as an evening clutch also. Now this is my largest toiletry pouch and this is the um, toiletry pouch 26 and um, this has that same lining. I still have the tags on there. Um, but this is pretty, this is in great condition because I don't really use it as a toiletry pouch, so it doesn't really get dirty. I do keep my things in it, but I use it kind of almost as a catch-all when I have a huge tote bag. Um, this is about five years old, I think. Um, this is pretty new. This is the Pachette Kiragami, and I got a monogram, and I think I did a, an unboxing of this, but I'll just show it again real quick. So it's three, it's three little pieces with a different colored lining. So there's the hot pink, red, and then the baby pink. And this is a perfect card case size. This you can fit other kind of like a little catch-all. And then this apparently, the bigger one, fits an iPad mini, which I don't have. This that. is also pretty new. I've been on the hunt for the favorites. Um, and I do have all three of them. And this is the favorite in the monogram, obviously. I've never even used this strap because I got this, um, I got the shoulder, monogram shoulder strap shortly after this. And also I have the reverse um, Pochette Matisse and I just throw that on here. Yeah. These are my two accessory pouches, Pochette Accessoire. One is the Cerise, the limited edition collection, and then the plain one, and this is a lot older. And it's just in, in such good condition still. My I gave this to my mom to use and I brought this in for a repair. I just was inquiring about replacing the entire zipper because it's starting to fray and I think they quoted like $160 for the repair, so I opted to not do that. But these are just, it's, they're so practical. I have a bunch of straps that I use on these, and I use them as, um, you know, to go out. It's a perfect size to fit your phone, and they're just really versatile. I also use them just as a, kind of as a cosmetic pouch, because it's, it's a lot thinner than the um, actual cosmetic pouch. This has a pretty wide base. So this, you can really fill a lot of things in there and it doesn't take up as much room, I think, like in my work tote bag. There's some shoes in here. <laughs> so these shoes are also pretty old. These came out, these are the Monogram Cerise shoes. And I love these little guys, look at their face. This is obviously really worn, but you can see, <laughs> look at the little faces, like, oh, hey, I love the little bow. Um, oh, look, there's a date code, so. N, is that O? N Q, zero zero four five. So back then, it, the date codes back then, it wasn't week and year. It was um, month and year. So zero zero four five would be zero four zero five. So this was made in April of, of two thousand five. Now the date code would be O four O five would mean the fourth week of two thousand five. But back then in O five, and I think they switched it over in O seven. So these are made in April of 2005. So these are about 14 years old also now. So <laughs> relatively new. This is the Palm Springs Mini. I have the straps inside and then I attached just a little pom-pom. I actually had the opportunity to buy this. I saw it in store when it first came out, which was about, what was it, four or five years ago? Maybe four years ago. And I just thought it was so impractical for me because at that time I was having my second kid and I was like, no, this doesn't really make sense for me. But it actually is so cute now because now I have three kids and I keep their stuff in a separate bag and then I'll just throw my stuff here and carry this on my back. On my back. So I think they redesigned it so it doesn't show the zipper or the or, uh, so that it, the zipper actually is exposed instead of hidden under this little flap. So it makes it easier to zip because this is one of the complaints that a lot of people had was this was pretty hard to zip open and close. You really need to kind of set it down almost and use both hands. So I can't unzip it right this now. This is also pretty old. This is the Manhattan PM. Um, this was Marc Jacobs kind of signature design. This is when he was, I guess, the I don't know, creative director or something for LV. 
and I love this bag. It's just like my go-to um, date bag. I really, I don't usually wear, you know, just top handle bags, but it's so cute and dainty <laughs> and ladylike. Um, here's the little buckle and yeah, so I really, I don't keep anything. In the front pockets, maybe gum, I guess, like you could. But, um, you know, he was really known for his chunky hardware. So the zippers are a lot bigger than his, than the usual LV kind of zipper pulls like that. Um, the lining was, is very, it has an Alcantara suede. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, mints from when I went out on, our, on my last date night. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this is also about, I don't know, 10, 15 years old. I'm not sure, maybe 10, 14. <laughs> so these are my two Nice train cases. Um, this is the Nice BB. Yeah. And I this because I have the actual Nice train case, and this is the like original Nice OG. So real quick, I'll show you the inside of both. First of all, this comes with um, this fichetta strap, which is pretty thick because this is considered you know a luggage traveling nice piece. BB doesn't have a strap, but you can always kind of attach it onto the hardware here. But I'll show you the inside. So this is the regular Nice. Um, I just love this little elastic pocket. It has a little tag there, made in France. It has these adjustable um, loops, so you you just pull this, and then it can adjust, you know, whatever bottles you have. This bottom comes out, so you can remove it to clean it more easily. So, yeah, so you can wipe this down, and then stick it back on, or um, you can use this kind of as a false bottom if you want to keep something here, like you know, makeup, like powders or something. You can keep that flat along the bottom or eyeshadow palettes or something and then stick this so it's kind of floating on top of it and it adds kind of like a second shelf. So this doesn't have any other pockets other than this elastic pocket up here and then these loops. Whereas the Nice BB, even for its size, it's pretty practical. It doesn't it have a mirror the way the Nice, the regular Nice train case does, but it has this entire thing as a slip pocket, this whole area, uh, or a zip pocket, and then this has a slip pocket here and two slip pockets here it's the same material um, this doesn't have a removable kind of false bottom lining and it's soft as opposed to this one this is pretty hard because you can see the bottom is kind of like a hard canvas this is all pretty soft sided and this is oh made in Italy it's so fancy so this is the keep all oh my gosh I don't even know keep all 55 and this is the Keepel Bandolier. I have the strap inside. This is very, very old. I really rarely use this. I just, in my day and age, I don't know. I, I really need pockets. It's just not practical for me. I mean, um, I haven't used this in a very long time because I just have found other luggage pieces that work for me. So it's, this is almost more decorative. But if I do go on a road trip, I, you know, maybe I'll bust this guy out. But I definitely wouldn't use this on a plane. Um, but for road trips, this would be okay. Sack some more. And um, yeah, this is such an old piece. Let me know if you've seen this or if you use it or if you have one. Um, it just, it looks really cool. But again, with these buckles, it's just not, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. It's, it's pretty wide. It has a slip pocket. So the same thing with the buckle on the other side. And then this entire thing on the side buckles closed and it kind of has a flap so it can expand or you know you can kind of squish it if you need to but um, this is uh, would be a good kind of personal item carry bag but again I really I carry a lot of things so this is the reverse pochette Matisse I did include this in my other video it kind of straddles both camps of LV monogram and my non uh, LV monogram pieces because it's the reverse but it is monogram here so I included it I really like this because it has black um, leather black here it has a zip pocket the reverse pochette Matisse the newest this is my newest newest bag this is the LV pochette, multi pochette accessoire bag and I got it in the pink rose clear so now I finally have a round coin purse and the two pochettes this is the pochette accessoire and the mini pochette and again um, if you compare the two these are bigger than the actual mini pochette that they make and pochette accessory. So I'll link the video below. I won't go into it. Now, this is the Confidential Bandu in the brown. It's um, 
it's not really monogram canvas um, but it's the monogram print so I just threw it on here I just love that it has all the signature LV monogram and the hardware even the shoulders look at that it has the same handle as as the niece how cute is that this is my Cabas Mezzo tote bag um, I included this as my most used LV bag in my recent uh, least most used least used and cutest handbag tag this is just my workhorse tote bag. I've used this forever. It's also very old. I've traveled internationally with this. It's very dirty. <laughs> I still have this, the food that was stuck on there from when I did the tag video. But um, it's stuffed right now because I am, you know, rotating other pieces. But I love this bag. I love that whole line because it has a zip on the top. Okay, so these are my two speedies. Um, I have the classic speedy. One is the speedy 25. And this, this is the Speedy 35. And yeah, I mean, they're classic. <laughs> oh, so this is my first ever LV bag. My first ever Louis Vuitton and first ever luxury handbag. I got this when I was in high school. Um, I was working, you know, I'd worked for as long, as long as I was able to work, I have always worked. And so this was my present to myself. And also this, was the French wallet I mentioned earlier. So I got the Speedy and the wallet to match. And it's just so classic. And you can see how dark and I guess really dirty the handle is because you can see how it's kind of like a really nice honey patina here, but the handles are a little dirty. So um, yeah, it's just such a classic shape. Um, I use it occasionally, but I don't know. I kind of need an organizer in my life at this point. Use this. Oh, the stitch is coming out. Um, yeah, I can, um, I attach a shoulder strap here and here. I have a, my other luggage tag on here. <laughs> this is about 19 years old and this is maybe 12, 12 years old. The Monstery GM. So I've loved this bag <laughs> for so long. They stopped making it and I planned on doing a kind of a reveal video, but I just didn't. So maybe I'll do a kind of what, what's in my, you know, Monsuri GM bag. Um, but yeah, I actually got this recently, even though it's an older style. Um, I got it from one of those Japanese <clears throat> LV resellers on eBay. And it's, I have been stalking this for so long because it's in great condition. You, you know, obviously, depending on some styles, they're very worn. So this is, you know, it's a little stained, which I don't mind because, you know, it's okay if it gets a little darker, just as long as there was no cracking or anything. And the canvas is in, is in great shape. It looks brand new. The leather is already kind of patinaed, which I prefer. And the hardware, it's a little tarnished, but it's in great condition. And the straps are also still really good. Very sturdy. There's no fraying, no rips. So I got this as a as a mommy bag i've been really into backpacks recently so bucket gm and i just have a kate spade <laughs> mr and mrs charm um now this is really cute because it has the little pouch attached i also got this from a japanese reseller online the entire lining which this is known for the lining just was disgusting it was breaking apart it was sticking to anything you you put in there same thing with a pocket you couldn't put anything in there and it would just be really sticky and gross um, I forgot what they call it whatever the material was that's meant to be kind of wipeable it would just after a time after a certain amount of time it would disintegrate and it was so gross so I brought it into LV and they actually replaced the entire lining um, I don't know how much it cost because they didn't charge me but I know that some people um, it's expensive to replace the lining of this entire bag so so that's the bucket GM and um, this has little little feet on the bottom there this I, I use this a lot to the movies um, it's a great movie snack bag because then it can sit on the floor and it doesn't get dirty because of the feet and then you can keep a lot of things okay now moving to my two monogram shoes um, obviously there's my very worn and very old uh, monogram vernis and this is like a mini monogram vernis and I use this so much it has a kitten heel it's just so practical and and really comfortable because it's very low oh it has a date code here so this was also this was made B 
BO0014. So this was made in January of 20, 2004. So, oh my gosh, these are officially 15 years old. Wow. 15? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. These are the monogram Sherry. Um, I really like this because it has the patent in the back. And they're so lightweight. They're really lightweight, so they're very comfortable. And I like that it's black inside. But these are so cute. I usually just wear these with the black. Um, when I'm wearing like a black work dress, I'll throw these on. And it has a little, little pop to my work outfits. One of my newer bags. This is my custom My World Tour Neverfull. And I did an entire video on this, so I'll link it below. One of, this is my first, I think, custom order piece. Um, and I'll, again, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get into all the details, but, you know, just, it has my name, it has my New York stamp on there, and then in the back I have my Manila stamp. I usually keep um, an organizer inside that has a zip, but right now I, I kind of toss, I don't, I'm not using that right now. This is the other pouch that comes with it and has the same corresponding stamps. And this, and it, this is so practical. <laughs> when, when I'm at work, you know, I use this as my work tote. And then if I'm just running to grab coffee or something, I'll throw my phone in here. Look, I have, I have my emergency uh, peanut M&Ms. <laughs> and that is my entire collection. That was my entire current Louis Vuitton monogram collection. Uh, I'll post a link below to my Louis Vuitton non-monogram collection. I also video. plan on posting a video talking about the pieces that I got rid of. And a lot of it is monogram luggage just because it just doesn't really fit my lifestyle anymore. But I did keep um, a lot of the pieces that I obviously still like and still use. Um, so stay tuned for that video. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of the pieces and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.